Hi guys, so today we are going to be reacting to again the vegan teacher. We all know she's crazy. So yeah. Jeans in a nice top. Super fast top. All you ever need. Teacher, since she keeps making videos about me, this is the face of evil. But first, I think we should watch this video that she just recently made about Travis Scott. Travis Scott, the rapper, he's an animal abuser. He gets sponsored by McDonald's. He encourages millions and millions of people to keep going there. I'm not okay with it. Did you hear what happened to him recently? If you guys are okay, up this is enough of the vegan teacher. I must stop her from doing these ugly videos. And I must go to her channel and comment in what video she has to stop saying that people are animal abusers. I don't, I'm, I'm serious. Guys, this, this woman over here, the vegan teacher, is crazy. So, this is not what I meant. So guys, I don't know what I don't know what she's saying, but we are about to watch the video right Eight now. Eight people were killed at Travis Scott's concert. Astro World, <coughs> horrible what happened. But here we are talking about McDonald's. This isn't about being vegan. What happened has nothing to do with being vegan. If Travis Scott just so happens to be vegan, I really wonder would she be here defending him? Like, why do you want to be vegan if you are? If you are. A why do you want to be vegan if you kill animals? You are supposed to eat meat. Meat is actually healthy. That she shouldn't be right. Animal abuser. Who cares? Who cares? Like, I don't know why she's saying this, but... This is not what I want. I don't want her saying these, these stupid words or anything. She said it before. Oh, if you're not vegan. That... Uh, this vegan teacher really must be stopped, like the title, okay? You deserve to die. Why would anyone want to go and see somebody who's an animal abuser who gets sponsored by McDonald's? Uh, you gotta respect the new drip, though. She gotta let everyone know who she is. As a society, we need to get our heads on straight. If you're ever going to get crushed by a bunch of people because you're doing an activity, it better be because you are rushing into factory farms to save animals. I don't see you doing that. You know, your face... Stop! Why does she have to make a video about vegan all the time? You, you, you can make a video about vegan and then don't post vegan videos. Like everybody will know already. Because you make it public. So this, this woman, vegan teacher, is saying something wrong. Sniper Wolf is saying something right. Because she's definitely an uh, animal abuser. Sniper Wolf is an animal abuser, but who cares? Everybody doesn't, no, no one controls everybody's life. No one. No one. Even if the vegan teacher say, let's eat vegan, and then we're still going to eat meat at once. My, my dad, my mom, my dad, my mom, asked me to eat meat. I, she, he, they always say, if you don't finish your food, just eat the meat. And some lettuce, which is vegan. But I do eat vegan stuff, but it doesn't mean I'm vegan, because I still eat meat. Because you're rushing the stage to go and what 
touch the foot of him be in his aura? He's an animal abuser. Stop. You violated the law. It's somebody who goes to a lot of concerts. Yeah, when the person goes on stage, everyone starts going insane, trying to get as close as they can to the front. Everyone gets, like, tacked. Thankfully, I don't like anybody that popular. That 50,000 people are going to show up at his show. I'm just like, I thought metal concerts were crazy. Don't follow the crowd. Think for yourself. So, if I'm thinking for myself and I want to eat meat, I'm going to eat meat. But you can't say anything because you told me to think for myself. And if I'd like to eat a burger, I'm going to. Stop wasting your life. She really spelt wasting wrong. Waste is like your waste. Oh, man, I didn't know she was illiterate, too. This guy promoted one of his concerts. Oh, this one. He doesn't know how to spell. She's already. Okay, sorry guys, I had to pause. Just wait. We see an innocent dog who is put into a stroller and is scared. And whoever does this to the dog finds it amusing. <laughs> she made a whole video because I reacted to this clip of someone who put their dog in a stroller. A clearly spoiled dog. Okay, well, there's there's nothing amusing about the seeing someone else phone suffer. Phone. Bro, calm down. Like, it's just a Calm down! The dog will escape if you just hold them. You use a chain, they will run very fast. But maybe they'll break it. A stroller! A stroller! They also can jump out, but, but their dog is their dog. So they can do whatever with their dog, except kill them. If they want to kill them, just kill them. But I don't want, I don't want seeing animals kill but you, but 
it's your choice. It's your choice. I don't control anybody's life. I don't control anybody's life. Okay, guys? I'm just scared. The equivalent of saying, boom. Say like yeah. Who have won't have crippling anxiety yeah. from a little jump scare? In fact, it's not normal to laugh at someone else's pain. You know, if I walk up behind you and yell, be fair, you have a little scare. It's going to be funny. I'm going to laugh. Come on. Every once in a while, Watch hide you. around the corner, pop out, scare your dog. They have a little spook. Nothing life-threatening. So what? I see no problem. It's not like you're doing this to the point where you're traumatizing the animal. Why do you find it hilarious? Try to explain it into words. You could say I have an elevated sense of humor. How seeing somebody else in pain gives you joy. Can you Come stop? On, you, you haven't watched a fail video. Can you, you get stop? Hurt and laugh. Never. Okay, this teacher really If you took a tumble down the stairs, I'm sorry, I'm at I don't want, I never want to go to this What else do you do to your own dogs? Do you poke them? Do you also try to scare them? What do you do, hide them in closets? What? Hold on, I'm going to show you my dog right now. Look at that. It's an abused dog if I ever seen one. It's so cute. It's so cute. I'm such a horrible time having to listen to you speak. I love this doggy with all of my heart. Besides the one time she had explosive diarrhea, this dog has never known pain a day in her life. Do you eat them? What? Why would you want to hurt an animal? She just asked me if I eat my dogs, bro. Nah, they're still here. Is she actually insane? Why would you want anyone to suffer even for a split second? Don't you think that the dog will remember this? No, the dog won't remember it. This poor dog having flashbacks from the Halloween store. Oh, I can't sleep at night. That spider did me a scare. Oh, my life will never be the same. Give him a treat and move on. He can't even remember the last thing he ate. And he eats the same thing every day. This isn't just a one-time thing. It's forgotten. We don't hurt animals or children. We never do this to them. If this was a child, your child, would you think it's funny to do that to them too? I've seen a lot of TikToks of people doing stuff like that to their kids, so I don't see you coming for any of them. I find it hilarious how you could jump scare a dog. You should never be around animals or children. <gasps> what did I've you seen say? a lot of TikToks of people doing stuff like that to their kids. So, I don't see you coming for any of that. What's in the sniper? It's hilarious how you could jump scare a dog. You should never be around it. again. It's funny to do that to them, too. I've seen a lot of TikToks of people doing stuff like that to their kids. So, I don't see you coming for any of them. I find it hilarious how you could jump scare a dog. You should never be around oh. animals or children. <sighs> They're similar. Kids, too? She took away my child privilege. But you would force a child to be vegan? I would hate growing up in her household. So, I have some timestamps here. So, they say apparently at about the 210 mark, she's going to talk about a spider. So, let's have a look at that. My mom. Oh, I see. Uh, there is a spider there above this person's head. Yeah, you're literally reacting to me reacting to a video. Why? And I'm reacting to her. I'm part of the problem. And I guess Leo got a look on her face has just noticed that. Hopefully you're not going to freak out and say that anything bad should happen. I'm surprised it was just a gasp and not a blood-curdling scream. Oh, come on. Why would you scream if you see a spider? Oh, maybe some people are scared of spiders. Maybe they got some trauma? It could be poisonous. You know, if something could seriously harm you, I think it's normal to be scared of it. X. And she gave me an X for it. The spider just ended up in the house by accident. By <clears throat> Wait, uh, guys, what would you do if there was a spider right on your head? Like, right on your head. Well, if, first, what would I do? I would scream. Second, I would ask my mom to, or my dad to smack it off my head.
Why do you think they're inferior? That's a strange word to use. No, it is not a strange word to use. An ant is inferior to a prey mantis. I can name several bugs worse than a prey mantis or like a, a spider. How you gonna put a housefly on the same level as a butterfly? Inferior, very inferior to a lot of bugs. <laughs> Mosquitoes? They can all die. So yes, inferior. Just because somebody eats something, a, a, an animal eats something, doesn't mean they're inferior. They're just different. I mean, there's different and there's inferior. I stopped killing bugs because they sometimes they, they splatter and it's gross. I'm just. Oh, I'm gonna have to give you an X for that. That's not the right reason. So I to be a nice guy and I like let them out now. Nice? You just said that you're doing it for yourself because you don't like to see their guts splatter. That make you nice? Yeah, that's my kind of nice. If you don't like it, you can leave. No comment. know what it is? It could be some rotten meat, perhaps? Are you not going to talk about the poor bugs who are stuck in the car? Do you think that they want to be in there? I cannot believe her right now. When you got rotten meat and maggots start eating it, aw, the poor maggots! It's not like they want to eat the sumptuous flesh. They want to be outside and get some fresh air. Do fun maggot things. I can't believe there's a real person right now. Come on. Come on. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the more notification bell and comment down done when you're done. So that's the end. That's the end. And I don't want to see this vegan teacher talking about tonight for one last time. This is not what I want to see because 
it's very annoying at this vegan teacher. So, bye guys. Bye.